Hey there, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. So by now you've probably heard of Andrew Tate. He has gained a ton of influence and controversy over the last couple of months. And you know what? He got so popular that he got banned. Um, I guess different outlets were saying that he was misogynist and he was saying all these, you know, disrespectful talks of things about women, sexist things, and they banned him. But you know what? Here's why I don't think these social media outlets are going to be able to cancel him because he has too much support from men. I mean, even men who don't agree with what he says respect the fact that here is yet again another figure who was openly challenging feminism i mean there are men out there who hate feminism so much that they would rather they'd rather have a little bit of misogyny or they would even galvanize or support a man that they completely disagree with if that means that feminism is being challenged and there are just too many men out there who feel frustrated, who feel silenced, who feel like their voice hasn't been heard, who feel like they don't have strong masculine leaders, who feel like all it is is, you know, liberal propaganda that is that is anti-masculine, anti-male. There's too many men who feel that way. And this is why he was able to garner so much support. This is why he was able to garner so much support, even from men who don't necessarily agree with everything that they say quite frankly, or they appreciate the fact that he has the courage to stand up against feminism, to stand up against some of the different issues that they felt have oppressed them or that they felt have minimized them for decades. And so this isn't going away. To a certain extent, I feel like this is a byproduct of this is a byproduct of a feminist world. This is a byproduct. This is what happens anytime you silence a side. And, you know, men have been silenced for really the last few decades, at the very least in media, in representation, in some of these different outlets. And now that there are alternative systems, now that there is social media, now that there are podcasts, now that there are different ways for men to get their message across and for men to express themselves, there's no turning back. So, you know, even if social media platforms cancel him, even if he gets banned, he just has too much support. And I think because there are men who are willing to support him, even though they may not necessarily agree with much of what he says, that speaks to the power of his message or the power of what he represents. And even, even if there was a scenario where he himself was completely shut down to where he couldn't say anything, there would be another, there would be another Andrew Tate. There would be another him. Just even if you look at Kevin Samuels, you know, he passed away, but his message continued. And the, and people were asking, who's going to be the next Kevin Samuels? Who's going to be the next Kevin Samuels? So now we have Andrew Tate. And I'm not saying that he is the next Kevin Samuels, but again, what he represents is that male voice is that resounding male voice that essentially has said we've had enough we are tired of being silent you are going to hear us even if it was raw even if it was raunchy even if it comes off as disrespectful you are going to hear our perspective and again i think the frustration that so many men have felt they finally feel like they have an outlet they finally feel like they have somebody who is representing that aspect of their their experience and you know whether you think it's misogynistic or sexist whether some of the things you say you agree with or disagree with because trust me there's some certain things i've heard from him that i disagree with nevertheless it's what he represents that men are galvanizing behind and this is why i think he's not going anywhere but y'all what do you think do you agree or do you disagree did i get this right um did i miss something let me know what you think. Leave your questions, comments, and concerns in the comments section below. And thank you so much for listening. If you've gotten this far, and don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button. Talk later. Bye.